Hello, my friends. Oh, you're making a video. I thought you were taking a picture. No. We're here at uh, Barnes & Noble. Our favorite place to come, isn't it, Rose? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's become my favorite place. <laughs> yeah. Coffee so, and books. Coffee and books. What are you reading, Alfred? Web design. Tell the people. Web design? Yeah. What are you reading, Rose? She <laughs> loves this book. She comes and looks at it every time. It's a good book. It's going to be what I'm doing. Look. <laughs> I like these stencils because I've been making um, dolls. When I come here, I sit here and I do some sketching and dolls. And this is what I've been working on. Tell me if you like it. This is my first one. My second one. And I did do another one. Here we go. Oh, here it is. And this is the third one. And I love uh, plain dolls. <laughs> That's my crafty inside me. So. We're having a blast. Can't talk very loud. But uh, we'll talk when we get home. Bye. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Coffee to walk with the twins. Well, we did a whole video outside at Barnes and Nobles. And me, like a dummy, accidentally deleted it. I thought it was a photo that I didn't want. And, and click. I was like, oh, no. I deleted the video. But let me tell you what we were saying. I was talking with Connie, and I said, we ought to put that on a video. And, you know, last night on the Renew Show, I'm a host of the Renew Show, if you guys don't know. And uh, it's called Renew Show, so just go and look it up. But anyway, um, we had uh, Susan taming the food beast. Hi, my baby girl. And uh, she had so she has so many people that just love her. And Lori was on there, and uh, yes, uh, Khalif. Khalif. <laughs> but what I was telling Connie was that the one thing that I did not talk about was that one of the things that really, really uh, helped my journey because I had already come on this scene four years after I had gastric bypass. And what really, really helped me was the fact that Connie told me about YouTube. Now, I know you guys all know that story about how we found YouTube. But the point is, is that I found it amazing that I could just stay on track with my food, with my exercise, with everything that I needed that I was learning from my little nuggets. You guys all know my nuggets. And... Uh, I was progressing. I was losing the weight. I was actually doing something with my body now, now that I knew how, how to use my, my tool. And so I kept focused on YouTube. And so I was telling her that that is such a blessing that I didn't talk about last night, you know, and I know that Susan knows what I'm talking about. It helped me to stay on track, like in the, at night when I wanted to really eat something, I would just go watch a video and it would motivate me to stay on track. Me too. Connie did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Or we would call each other and I'd say, oh yeah, I just watched that video. Or she'd tell me, you know, or I'd tell her about somebody. We were finding new people all the time. Well, my problem was that uh, before I had my surgery, two months prior to that, I was on a liquid diet, literally. Two whole months, yes. And it was very, very, very difficult for me. So every time I saw TV, I saw all these commercials. Well, it caused me to be hungry. Even though I didn't eat a whole lot of fast food, still, I was hungry every time I saw that hamburger, chicken, or whatever it was. So I got myself to sit there and watch YouTube, and I would listen to the stories, and everyone's stories were amazing, and... I kept up with so many people and made so many friends and I'm so thankful that I was able to do that because it was a blessing right. for me to be able to, do, to get away from TV even though I was going to YouTube another computer it was still something that was helping me daily 
I would get up in the morning, turn on YouTube, do my workouts, go swimming, go walking, do what I had to do, come back home from my swimming. I had two hours before I went to bed, watched more YouTube, Oops. and went to bed. Yeah. Yes. So what we're trying to say is that, you know, it was something that was necessary for our journey. It, it, it was a tool that we used daily and is still using today. Not as much, I must admit. Now that I'm with Connie, I just want to be with my city. And so, uh, anyway, we just had a wonderful day today. We went to Barnes & Noble that we love to, you know, read and look at magazines and, you know, have <laughs> we a... We have a, sit there for hours. And have a cappuccino, which uh, everyone... Frappuccino. Has, a frappuccino. Everybody always asks, what are we drinking? It's a sugar-free... Fat-free fat free, mocha, mocha frappuccino. Frappuccino, excuse me. And, and it's a small, it's and, not a large. I know it looks large, but it's the smallest one that you can buy. The smallest one. Yeah. <laughs>
One of the stones was missing, so me and Rosemary, we, we walked over there today, walked over there, at, from the Barnes and Nobles, walked over there in the shopping center and uh, exchanged it for another one. And then I found some beautiful earrings and a beautiful ring for $3.99 a piece. So yeah. I put a picture. I wanted to add that the Mickey Mouse shirt that I was wearing today was from Rosemary's daughter, Raquel. She got me that this weekend. Thanks, Raquel. In the car. And I got out. She got out. And all of a sudden, this black car was driving by real slow and looked at checking us out, checking it, checking our hips out. I was like, "Oh my god!" You could tell god. where he, you could tell where he was looking. And he goes, "Hey, ladies!" Hey, ladies. And I was like, <laughs> "Hello!" <laughs> First time we let, we let him, we let him drive right on by. First time I've ever gotten. Don't worry, blue eyes looked at, but. She's always getting looked at. <laughs> this was my first time getting looked at. Yeah, well, I <laughs> know what they're looking at, so whatever. Okay, everybody. We will see you when we see you. All right. God bless. Bye. Bye. Bye.